everyone and welcome to Speedway Motors. My name is Pat. Here at Speedway we have quite the line of cooling accessories and electrical fans to keep your ride cool. Now if you're trying to figure out which fan is going to work best for your ride, I do want to go over a few things with you today. One thing you should ask yourself is what size of fan can you put on your car? When it comes to cooling, bigger is always better as long as they can fit on your radiator. Now you T-bucket guys out there, you don't have a lot of real estate on that radiator and so you might have to opt for a little 12 inch guy like this one. This one pulls about 1300 CFM. The next one I have here is a 15 inch. This would be perfect for you guys out there running your Chevelles or bigger cars. This one pulls about 1700 CFM. And then of course the next one, uh, it looks bigger but it's actually not. It's a 15 inch as well but this one's got a built in shroud and a built in thermostat. This thing pulls 3000 CFM. Another thing you want to go over is where are you going to mount this? Are you going to mount it on the traditional side, which would be like between the engine and the radiator, or are you going to mount it on the front? Uh, do you have a big car? Uh, better yet, a big motor crammed in a little car. Uh, are you going to have enough room in between? You know, you can position these so it kind of offsets the water pump, but if you don't have that room, you can mount it on the front and that's fine. Not all uh, cooling fans are created equal though. Um, some you can reverse the blades so you can mount it on the front side and some don't. This would just be a pole style fan, so one that you'd mount between the engine and the radiator. This 15 inch is reversible. You can actually pop this blade off, flip it around, and then reverse the polarity on these wires and you can make it into a push style fan. Now some of the pros and cons to running a push style fan would be that when you run a push style fan, you run down the highway, this thing's going to block air from coming into the radiator. Now, is it going to be that big of a hindrance? Not necessarily. You know, this fan pushes 1700 CFM or pulls 1700 CFM, but if you use it as a pusher, it's only going to push about 75% of that number. Another thing to look at would be your budget. Uh, these fans don't have built-in shrouds, they're going to be a little bit cheaper, but this one is awesome. Like I said, it's a full contained unit. It's going to be a little bit more money, but it's definitely worth it. I have one of these in my car and I absolutely love it. Going back to fans not being created equal, um, a fan like this little guy here is a straight blade fan. Straight blade fans will pull more air, but they're going to be a little bit louder. And maybe that's not an issue if you got uh, some loud pipes and you can't hear anything anyway. You're probably not going to hear this fan. The other fan type or blade type would be curved. It is going to be a quieter but just not going to pull as much air. So really, like I said, it's not going to be an issue if you got a hot rod and it's loud anyway. Another thing to think about is shrouds. This is probably one of the biggest things I come across on the phone. Um, guys saying that their ride's just not cooling right. Well, you need a shroud. And the reason I say that is if you're running a little fan like this on like a 30 inch radiator, this fan is only going to cool pretty much what it's sitting on. That's where shrouds come into play. If you put this on a shroud like this, you're going to cool the whole width of that radiator. So it is very important. When it comes to shrouds, we have a variety of shrouds here at Speedway, but I just wanted to bring this one up. People had questions on this style of radiator. As you can see, it's got honeycomb, basically ports. It's not for bumblebees. It's actually to allow better cooling when going down the highway. It just allows more air to come through the unit. It doesn't allow turbulence between the radiator uh, and the uh, fan shroud unit. The other question was plugs. As you can see, these have plugs. Here at Speedway, we don't offer another plug to plug into this. So you'd have to go down to your local parts store uh, and find a plug to fit or you could chop this off and put like a nice weather pack connector on there too. Like I said, if you have any questions about cooling or cooling accessories, please give us a call at Speedway Motors. Visit us on our website at speedwaymotors.com or punch in some comments in the box below and I would be happy to answer those questions. Well, thanks for visiting us here at Speedway Motors. You have a good one.